And oh, by the way, oh, wow, I didn't realize because I I can't hit it and adjust it, so I'm so sorry. It's a little annoying, but hey, I think we got it. All right, hey guys, good evening. So I don't know why, because it is not even mid July yet. I don't know why, but this morning there was a very friendly knock on the door and it was the postman delivering the August Sakura Co box, which took us totally by surprise because like I said, it's July. Like, didn't we just unbox one of these? I've still got a bunch of the July sweets in the pantry, but um, you know, when it comes to subscription boxes, I try to do them as they come in. So uh, I guess we're gonna be eating some of the August treats from Sakura Co today. And Joseph noticed that they sent the uh, health information, the caloric information. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I haven't looked at it because I like not being spoiled. I, I like the it. surprise. Oh, you did? Oh, aren't you sweet? So I'll give you guys first peek. Something that kind of bums me out about Soccer Co. is they have a prize for the best photos, but because I'm doing video recording, I, it's dif more difficult for me to do photos, so it's like I can't compete. You can always do a map for fact. I would like to actually see them offer a uh, prize for people who are doing video reviews and live streams as well, because that is also helpful for their company. So I, they, it seemed like they listened to my, my complaints about the nutrition facts, maybe they will take that in con into consideration as well. So I have zero affiliation with Sakura Co. We buy the box because I like tasty Japanese treats. And uh, we've been enjoying it so far. How many months have we done Sakura Co uh, now? I think it started in March. So. In March, and we're in August, so five. This okay. is our fifth month of Sakura Co. Like and it's about a $40 box. And what I like about Sakura Co. is that they do different kinds of snacks than what you would get with some of the other Japanese treat boxes. So these aren't so much junk food. They're more like a little higher end sure. treats. Yeah. So every month they send a little magazine that outlines what's included in our box. This month it seems like they're focusing on Okinawa, which is pretty cool because... I don't think I've ever had the chance to try too many treats other than like all the banana stuff in Osaka. I've never really had a chance to really try the treats from Okinawa. So uh, their, their postcard this month is, I really like the design on it, but the text on the back is usually not exactly the same, but the same kind of thing. So um, thank you once again for joining us for a Japanese culinary exploration. With its white sand beaches and beautiful local culture, Okinawa holds a special place in my heart. The Sakura Co team and I are so happy to be bringing you unique flavors from this tropical paradise. Okinawa is particularly famous for its gorgeous Benny Emo purple sweet potato and rich brown sugar made from the locally grown sugar cane. Hey, we know a thing or two about us Louisianians know a thing or two about sugar cane. Yep. So these might be, this might be fun because there might be stuff we have in common that we Not didn't realize. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of neat. Have some shrimp treats. All of, they've actually sent a lot of shrimp treats. We like their that. shrimp treats. Yeah. Um, do you want me to share the stream? Would you please you share the stream? I haven't yeah. had a chance to. So we had to include sweets infused with these iconic flavors. On top of these, you'll get to taste confections made with citrus and other fruits cultivated year round. Uh, that's something else we have in common. Do satsumas come from Okinawa? I have no idea. The perfect treats to enjoy as you imagine the refreshing ocean breeze. Relax and enjoy the rest of the summer. Love, Ayumi. And then this is volume six. So Sakura Co. started, I guess, in February of this year. So that would make that their first month. And this is the August box. Uh, another minor kind of complaint is that the exterior of the box um if you're promoting videos it's not or or photos it's always the same box it'd be helpful if they even just slapped a sticker that said that the month mom. yeah yeah so that but i mean you know, the book says it right? the book is different i mean and beautiful they've sent some really beautiful books but um it's in terms of promoting the, the video before you unbox it and also, it would just be exciting to see, like, even just, like, if you're not reviewing it, just seeing what month it is on the front of the box would be pretty exciting. 
So, hello and welcome to Soccer Co's ah, Okinawan Adventure. I don't know why my brain wanted to go about that one a different way. August is the peak of summer heat in Japan, which is why the crystal... Cl and another thing we have in common is uh, they have like typhoon or monsoon season, and that's pretty one-to-one -one with hurricane season in Louisiana with like the constant <laughs> torrential rains. We have similar rainy seasons too. Yeah. August is the Don't peak. Don't have to worry about tsunamis though, thankfully. Hey, well, yet. Yet. August is the peak of summer heat in Japan, which is why the crystal clear beaches of Okinawa are a favorite getaway. We're pleased to share the specialties of these beautiful islands in this month's box. We're going to be going to the beach. We are going to be. I, maybe we can save some of these to share with your family at the beach. Do you think they would enjoy them? Probably, but my family bring always brings a million treats. They so do. I, I wouldn't worry about it too I, much. Okay, well, I, I wouldn't say I would worry about it, but it might be nice. Okinawan cuisine is a blend of bold flavors and vibrant colors, and we have carefully selected a collection of sweets that highlight the culinary culture of this tropical paradise. Relax, imagine the ocean breeze, and explore Okinawa with Sakura Co. And I'm not being fair. I need to show you guys the book. Let me see if I can find a way for it to show up and be able to actually read it. So this maker highlight is Maru Kiyo Confectionery. And they make classic Okinawan souvenirs. Oh! Y'all, oh, it looks like we're getting some shikuwasa jelly this month. Oh, I hope I hope that's good. And apparently this company got their start with beef jerky. Do you think they sent beef? I love beef jerky, so I would be excited to do that. So um, give me a sec. <coughs> Woo! Sorry, allergies are up. So um are you still sharing it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can get yeah, that's, I was going well, to need... ask you to pick, but I think I'll start with their tea. But first, let's take a look at what's in the box. So these look like they, they're very cute. Um, they look like they might be hard candies with like a soft center. So these are probably like brown sugar candies, if I were to guess. And then these are Okinawa Tofu Crisps. And then it looks like maybe we got, ah, okay. I could read some of these. Um, this is a Binimo pie. And we got two of those. We got a Monica, and it looks like it might be a citrus. Oh, oh, this month we got a plastic lacquer bowl so at least we have three of these now so, i mean lack is it it's plastic but it's meant to look lacquer? like pla yeah, lacquerware okay. with the red on the inside and the black on the outside i've been using last month's as like a coaster in the studio so i am trying to use them we have a couple of jellies oh is this apple i think that might be apple jelly Ooh, I love snick savory snacks. And that's one of the things I like is that Sakura Co. does savory snacks. And this is this is a pretty full box this month. We also got a Benny Emo tart. Kabocha said the bowl is gorgeous. It is plastic though. It still looks good. It looks good. It looks like it looks like good. Right. But it is plastic. Yeah. And that's kind of my womp womp is like they got to start it so with. So if you bought something like that from Daiso or one of those. It would be Daiso. It, it would be plastic or it would be it, um, mm. lacquer, like wooden lacquerware. It would, it would probably, probably be cost plastic too much. at like yeah. Daiso. Yeah. We have, these look like they might be shortbread style cookies. Some more shortbread style cookies with maybe, um, oh, those are cute. They have like an icing on them. The candy almost looks like a little face. <laughs> it does. What are you? We have, we have a lot of pastries in here. This is interesting. So we've got this, which I'm not sure yet what it is. 
We've got this, which I think is citrus based. We've got these, which I'm not sure what they are. And we've got like, they're like, like donuts, you know? So like fried balls of dough. Hmm. And then way at the bottom, we have our tea sachets. And it's nice to be able to start with our teas. So this is San Pincha tea. It is by Higa Secha in Okinawa. There are no common allergens. It is vegetarian friendly. And it has been enjoyed in Okinawa for centuries. And it's a blend of Chinese and Japanese tea that came into Okinawa during the days of the Ryukyu Kingdom. With its signature jasmine flavor, it's exactly what you need for a refreshing summer pick-me-up. And you can have it hot or you can have it cold. But you have to, to have it cold, you have to let it steep for about six hours. So I guess we're going to be having it yeah, hot tonight. Yeah, I prefer tea anyway. And that kind uh, of brings so us... I just said if you got it from Daiso, the pattern wouldn't be that nice on the bowl. That's probably true. Uh, I just... also said, or Kabush also said manju. Uh, the manju are good. Oh, like these? Red bean paste. I'm not sure. I'm iffy about red bean paste. And uh, we've been, I mean, it's understandable. They're Japanese streets, but we're getting a lot of red bean paste. So this kind of brings us to the next topic. So I, I mentioned for several boxes that nutrition facts would be really helpful because the packaging is entirely in Japanese and there are people who have dietary issues, whether they're gluten intolerant or they're diabetic or there's allergens that are not listed in the common allergen. So it would be really helpful to have that nutrition information. And look, they actually included it on the outside of the box this time. It was folded, and that's why Joseph opened it to avoid spoiling the surprise. But they included the nutrition information. So thank you so much that for doing that. That may have always been there. No, it was kind of no, hidden. no, because I usually it the unwrap label. it. Yeah, and and usually the behind the label is just label. This okay. is the first time I think they've included. I mean, Sakurako can tell us one way or the other. I mean, Maybe I opened just it last it. time, and I may have just not noticed. Well, in the times that I've opened it, they didn't include the nutrition information. Yeah. So this is great if you are buying this box and you're feeding a class and you need to know what's in it for dietary concerns. It's great if you're a parent and you're sharing this with your kids. Yeah, the, go for it. Let's get started. So dissolve one, one sachet in 100 milliliters of hot water and enjoy. And while you're doing the tea, I'll give them a little aerial overview. So is this a bag or is this? It's, it says a sachet, a sachet. Okay. So I think it's probably loose powder in there. No, it looks like a bag. Did you show them the uh, tea bag? Smells pretty strong and I can smell it from here. Does it smell more like green tea or jasmine? Jasmine. But I mean, they send so many snacks. It's really unfair of me to whinge about getting plastic, a plastic bowl that I'm gonna use uh, when the bulk of the weight of the box is like snacks. And you know, when you're subscribing to Soccer Co, you are subscribing for snacks. So one of the things I like about this box is that they kind of focus on different prefectures and they always have a prefecture spotlight. Oh, it says, it just says to dissolve one sachet in 100 milliliters of hot water and enjoy. There's no time for yeah, that. I'll guess two minutes. Oh, it smells really nice. It does have a really strong jasmine scent. So Okinawa is famous for its uh, gorgeous- said three minutes. Three minutes? Okay, you gonna set a timer? Sure. Thank you. Famous for its gorgeous beaches, Okinawa is the southernmost prefecture and is located within the Ryukyu Islands. For 450 years, it was the independent kingdom of Ryukyu and only officially became the prefecture of Okinawa in 1879. Linguistically and culturally separate from mainland Japan, the indigenous population, the Ryukyu people, continue to play an integral role in the unique ancestral and culinary traditions of the islands. One of the visible signs of this culture are the shisha. Oh, that's the piece. Also known as shishi, lion in the local language, which are inescapable lion statues featured across the islands. They're believed to provide protection and often sit outside by the entryway to buildings, including shrines, hospitals, schools, companies, and private houses. Always in pairs, 
The female lion is closed mouth, so that's that's this one to keep in the good spirits while the male lion, this smiling fellow here, is open mouth to scare away the evil spirit. So that's why Bowie's mouth is always ah, he's scaring no, away no. all the evil spirit or trying to. The Shisha have certainly been doing a good job given that the prefecture lays claim to the highest rate of sen wow, said centenarians in the world. Japan is already world-renowned for the longevity of its citizens, but Okinawa's impressively healthy senior population is a feat they credit to Yuimaru, the spirit of helping one another, as well as the local diet. One deliciously sweet part of this diet is the mineral-rich Okinawan brown sugar, which is made by boiling sugar cane for hours to produce a rich, dark syrup. The syrup is then dried out into blocks, Along the beach, well, then we should be living forever, too, because we also have sugar cane. But Louisianians tend to die know. of heart yeah, attacks and diabetes. Yeah, I don't know how many diabetes. Louisianas actually eat sugar cane, like, sugar Yeah, just sugar straight. Cane. My papa used to. Sure. That's an old person thing, though. The syrup is then dried out onto blocks. Along with being a favorite choice for local bakeries, brown sugar in ginger tea is a home remedy for cold and fatigue. This month, we're excited to bring you the flavors of these beautiful tropical islands, including sweets that feature Benny Emo and brown sugar. And we already got our tea going. So I'm going to let Joseph do the picking. Where do you want to start? Bocha said, Bowie and Hal were both open mouthed gremlins. Uh, so it's about ready. I just had it for two minutes. Oh, you only did one? Uh, yeah. I, I don't necessarily want the full glass, but you can have the majority of this. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. If you're looking for somewhere to put the tea bag, you can just put it on the sachet that it came from. Sure. So what are you feeling? Do you want to start with something sweet or you want to start with something savory? Uh, let's do sweet because I always find it's more sweet than savory. So if we start with sweet, maybe we'll not... Round it out? Yeah. <laughs> well, pick. Um, pick. Okay. Or do you want to pick from here? I was just going to... Pick. Pick. Sure, let's go with this. Okay, jelly so that the is the Shikuwasa jelly. And I think that was one of the featured things. So you work on getting it open, and I'll work on finding it. Oh, this month's prize is really cute hmm. for the photo contest. They always have really cute stuff. Please consider videography as well. This is like over full. I have, I have a bowl. I don't think we need Where it. are you? Oh, here we go. All right. Shikuwasa Jelly by Asahiya in Okinawa. No common allergens. It is vegetarian friendly. Shikuwasa is one of the most iconic Okinawan flavors with its refreshing and acidic flavor. As Asahiya used the tart Okinawan citrus in a refreshing and unmissable jelly. Enjoy it chilled or try it frozen as a sorbet. Perfect for summer. And of course, someone would be knocking on the door as we're recording. So I guess I get the pleasure of trying it first. Okay, so it is a fairly clear... Oh, not mean to put my nose in it. Fairly clear jelly that smells kind of like a citrus Kool-Aid. This would be way better cold. It smells nice, though. It is nice, but it would be better cold. It tastes kind of like lime jello at this temperature. They recommend freezing it mm -hmm. and having it as a sorbet, and that would be nice. I guess it does taste a little bit like lime jello. It's, it's That's not like their fault. Mountain Dew jello. It is. Honestly. It's Mountain Dew flavor. But yeah. Mountain Dew, there's this YouTube channel where they show you where he demonstrates how to recreate those flavors and like these iconic sodas. And apparently Mountain Dew is just an intensely citrus flavored soda with a bunch of caffeine. It does taste like the Dew. Yeah. It also looks like the Dew. <laughs> it's good, dude. It even has an expiration date on it because it's a real food. It is very dew flavored. I so, don't think this will go with. I mean, it, it's the tea isn't going to fight it, but to. I 
It's a little bit less sweet than Mountain Dew, but it's more sweet than I was expecting. It's definitely Mountain Dew flavor, and I feel like I feel like an uncultured garbage can. There is nothing else to compare. No, to. you're you're not wrong. A little more nuanced than Mountain Dew, but it's still got that dew. Kimbocha said wine jello. I don't know about that. I feel like people have done that though. Three minutes might have been a little too much, actually. It's not bad. Oh, too hot. A lot too hot. I just picked it up from the ring. I'm trying. Oh, from the toaster? No, from the the, the bottom. Hoop, the hoop. I'm trying, but I like balancing my tea because this this one has like a stupidly little handle. I'll have to try oh, it later. Man. Can't get my fingies in there. Well, does that make you super eager to try the other Jello they think the apple Jello, apple jelly, apple pudding? Does Japan really like their jellies that much, or does Sakura Co just always include jellies? How many times did we have jelly things when we were in Japan? It must have been at least four, right? I think I think it's a popular ingredient in, with other things. Like like onmitsu often has a jelly or yeah. or kombu jelly component, right? Yeah. My turn. Yeah. Me to pick. Oh, it's so sweet. I need something to kind of. So that was good. Um, and while I'm sure you couldn't find Mountain Dew Jello in America, you could maybe make Mountain Dew Jello in America. Oh, you could. That's a thing you could do. I mean, the texture was like most of the jellies. Uh, they're they're good. Okay, let's go with the. I'm trying to find it now. Setting my my laser beams. We're gonna have to split this one. Let's try the brown sugar manju by Maruku Confectionery, and this one contains egg, wheat, soy, and milk. It is, but it is vegetarian friendly, and it does have a red bean filling, as Kabocha mentioned earlier. Brown sugar was first introduced into Okinawa in the 17th century, where it quickly became a specialty of the region due to its favorable growing conditions. This gave us such treats as brown sugar manju, with an iconic chewy texture and fragrant brown sugar filling. And this oh, one is going to have a preservation pack, so we should... Okay. Get her open. Yeah, get her open. Bocha said Mountain Dew Jello. Open this. Could definitely make that, but why would you? But why? Yeah, that sounds like torture. And this is a Sakura Pattern O Wine Bowl by Tanaka Hashiten. It is dishwasher and microwave friendly. Yay! Perfect for soups or desserts, this Japan made O Wine Bowl features a fresh and floral design to give your kitchen a spot of refreshing Japanese elegance. So this is new. They're a little, they have a desiccator packet and something else attached to the desiccator packet. I don't know what that is. Seal of freshness? It looks like maybe like a pH indicator, but we're, we don't know what this means, so. <laughs> I mean, I could try to Much read Much like it. a pregnancy I I test, we it. might be screwed. I don't think it's meant to be eaten, though. Of course not. It's not eatable. Uh, I think that says do not eat. So, <laughs> um, and I don't know what some of these kanji mean. Ready to try it? Yeah. I get first bite or you take first bite. It doesn't matter. How about you start getting half? No, because it's going to have red bean paste. It's not going to break. Say so. You definitely taste the sugar cane. Yeah, you smell it, too. It tastes like cane syrup. Which, it it, it you smells a little like, alcoholy too, possibly mm -hmm. from the That could packet. be, but also cane syrup has that kind of smell. Yeah, it does. Did you grow up eating cane syrup on your pancakes? Yeah, it does. That's actually better than the cane syrup pancakes. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like that. I'm too bad because I don't know that I could find it again. It has a. They were right. It, it also goes well with the red bean paste. 
The red bean paste tastes more like Fig Newton than it does red bean paste, mm-hmm. honestly. I'm iffy about red bean paste. I'm, I this like it. This is like it. a really good Fig Newton. That's really good. I would love... I, and I, I think that one, a the, lot of people around here would like that. The bready stuff is not only... Not only has a complex flavor mm-hmm. from the sugar cane, um, but it also almost has like a whole weedy mm-hmm. kind of complex mm-hmm. flavor. I like it a lot. That's really good. Mm-hmm. I wish I could order. I a bunch of those. Yes, I wish I could <laughs> order. That's what I was just saying. I wish I could order more of these. Because it does have though. a really good chew to it, too. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a good, that's like a snackable snack. Or a dessert, but you know. I like that. I need to make some friends in Japan who will send me treats like that. Let's do a savory next. Oh, that's nice with the uh, manju. Yeah, I imagine. Mm. If you want to, we can pour that into a bowl. Uh, So these are kombu... Uh, Ara, Arare crackers. It contains wheat, soy, and shrimp. So that should be interesting. We don't have to eat all of these because I might just have ramen for dinner and have alcohol. these with... That uh, makes sense because of the mirin. Made with 100% Japanese grown or Japan grown rice. For some reason I was reading grown is brown. Uh, Kambu Arare are a delicious way to add some crunch into your snack experience, filled with delicious flavors from seaweed to shrimp to soy sauce. Sounds like things you would love. Smells like soy sauce. I think the green ones are seaweed. I think these are soy sauce. Mmm, the soy sauce ones are really good. Oh, and there's like little the bits of seaweed, the seaweed in there, seaweed gives you like yeah? a punch. Those are good. Yeah, seaweed's the best part. No, it's all good. I like the soy ones. And then I think the pink ones are shrimp. Don't you oh, put shrimp on them. Look though. what I just look look how cute. They've got like the, the little bikini shit. on them. Mm-hmm. Is that the woman and that's the man? Why is the man? I don't new? know yet. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know yet. And we don't have to eat the whole bowl. I'll come back to it later with of dinner. Of course you will. Um, it with so yeah, you? like most rice crackers, it's got a hint of seaweed in, in all the bites, basically. Uh, it tastes a little like, um, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Wasabi. Um, I don't even know if there is wasabi like a in little, it. I don't even yeah. get the wasabi, so maybe. Maybe. Pretty good, though. I always appreciate when they include uh, more savory treats, because while I love sweets, I also like savory. I'm, I'm probably going to save the brown sugar candies for the very end because they're going to take a while to eat. I mean, I assume we're just eating one each. Sure. But I figure they're going to take a while. What are you going to pick? I need to look. They have the snow salt. The, the rice crackers go pretty good with the tea as well. Sorry. Ew. You see down in my shirt. <laughs> Mm. Oh, sorry. Give me your deck. Let me grab some paper towels. And you want me to pick something? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, let's go with the Christmas looking cookie. Okay. Those are the the Issa crackers, and this is an unmissable summer treat. It is by Kuboyama Confectionery. It contains wheat and soy. Made with Japan grown rice and finely chopped green seaweed. Oh, these are savory. These cris- This crispy treat reminds us of a fresh ocean breeze. Enjoy the crispy goodness of Japanese senbei. They tricked you. Those look like they would be sweet, yeah, and they're they not sweet. Hmm. So it looks like the, the green stuff on top doesn't flake off or anything like that. That's what the back looks like. I just realized we didn't show it. I love jasmine teas. And this one is not particularly 
um, a strange. You should try this. It's got a very strange crunch to it. Also, it is sweet. Mm. Um, oh, it is sweet. It's got like a That's sugar neat. glaze on the outside. I like that. I think, As I'm making crumbs. Um, on it. It's almost cakey. Mm -mm. There's a wafer in there. Yeah, the the wafer. I don't know. Uh, to me, the the wafer kind of melts a little bit though, like like. A, a, a cake might. I do see why they call it like a fresh ocean breeze though. Because it does have kind of that like refreshing salty sweetness. That's interesting. So last month I felt like a lot of the treats. The, the top does mostly taste like sugar. Um, I like they, that. They might have colored it with matcha but it doesn't taste no, like No there's matcha no matcha. All. I think it's more seaweed. Seaweed influence. Um, there is a hint of um, savoriness to it. But I think for the most part, it's it's a sweet treat. Um, to last month's box was kind of ho hum for me, but I'm I'm really enjoying this month's box. So the cracker, it's uh, it's very puffed ricey, mm -hmm. I guess is might be the best way to mm -hmm. like a little bit denser than that. So I saw on Twitter this. Um, uh, I'm not sure how to phrase it. This Japanese person was making fun of videos like this one by going to like a Publix in Florida and talking about how much they love Floridian food and how great Floridian food is and they're buying like pop tarts and stuff and I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, the whole point of this is for us to say what is just like American snacks I and hope what there isn't is somebody and if this box is who worth is it. Sending like, We're not trying to be pretentious. No, no, I know. Like, I hope there's somebody sending like Garbo American snacks out for people to try. I mean, I don't see if, if no one in Japan has had Cheetos before. Yeah, I'm down I, with I that. I hope enjoy, that someone in Japan enjoy gets those Cheetos. some Cheetos and taste them on YouTube or whatever. a unique thing. Yeah. Cheetos are sure something. Okay, you pick the Issa crackers. So I like those, but I mean, you could definitely find something like that in America. It's just a wafer with, with sugar. I mean, no. the, the sugar probably wouldn't be on top. No, because American sweets don't do a lot of savory, and that had a lot of savory in it. I don't know about a lot, but it had some. It had more depth than most American sweets, but I think you could find something like that. Certainly at a bakery or something like that. Okay, this is the Benny Emo Tart. It is made by the Shiroma Confectionery in Okinawa. It contains soy, milk, egg, and wheat, but it is vegetarian friendly. It's made with 100% Okinawa sourced ingredients. The crispy dough sits below a creamy and sweet mixture of red bean paste and Okinawa's famous purple sweet potato, an unmissable Okinawa treat. And aw, they were, okay, you know what? They recommend chilling this in the refrigerator to give it a little extra refreshing kick. And throw it in the freezer for a minute and mm -hmm. come back to it. Sure. I'm going to go ahead, though, and open it and remove the preservation pack. And show it. Yeah, and, and show it. Oh, that's cute. That's very pretty. Look at that. That's. I was thinking that there's no way. I like that when I was five out of Play-Doh. And you probably tried to eat it then, too. Yeah, All right, course. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go put this on a saucer and put it in the Kabocho dish. said Sinbei is one of her favorites. So freaking crunchy. I guess that's uh, these rice cracker deals. I mean, one of the things I'm always trying to do now with the channel is talk about, like, Louisiana foods and Louisiana life and uh, trying to recommend stuff that people would enjoy. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's just, like, a personality thing. Is I it, think some people might find it... Is this the same it, thing but a different flavor? I don't know yet. Some people might find it annoying, but some people might also be like, it's cool that we can share all this, all this culture, like... Southeast Louisiana, we also have sugarcane, citrus grows here year round, but yeah. people don't utilize the citrus as well as they ought to. Like we literally just watch citrus, like satsumas, oranges, tangerines rot on the trees because the owners don't care. Even the wild animals don't necessarily do anything. Yeah, because they're so spoiled for it. Okay, this is Kogane Shikuwasa Manju. So this is or is not what we had earlier. It's not exactly yeah, like it looks that. Different. Okay. Well, I wasn't um, necessarily saying we should have it. I was just trying to move things. Aside. Well, I'm I'm waiting on the other thing, so we can have uh, this while sure. we wait. 
Uh, striking a balance between sweet, sour, and rich, this Okinawan treat combines the flavor of chikuwasa with sweet red bean paste, all wrapped up in a light and airy manju cake. I just thought it was kind of humorous because they were like getting pop tarts and stuff and being like, look at this American delicacy. It's a true example. I mean, they were joking. Um, it's a true example of American pastries. And like, part of me was like, but it is. Yeah. Like, I hate that it is, but it is. I don't, I don't understand why they think that that's that It is a joke. Funny. Yeah. Because, like, because we do have better. But better sure. is not necessarily accessible in But, I mean, US. if you ask any child what a Pop-Tart is, they're going to know. I mm -hmm. mean, it's possible they haven't had one, but I would say it is a true American, just because it's not good. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's yeah. not representative I, I mean, of our like country. Like I said, I brought it up just because I thought it was a funny parody, and I don't have a problem laughing at myself. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I would, I, any day, any day y'all want to sit here, and me and Joseph go and buy a bunch of Louisiana foods and we just talk about them with you guys, I would do that in a hot minute. No problem there. Ooh. It smells Ooh. very orange. It smells very orange. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That is really good. And I'm iffy about red bean. Um, I like the other one more. The other manju. The other one was really delicious with the yeah. brown sugar. Because it gave it kind of a savory taste to it that I really like. I almost feel like this crosses over into the too sweet American kind of realm. So it does taste pretty natural. But I think they also have added sugar in it. Um, hey, there's so a way to not, find out. At least it's not only um, artificial flavors. It's 140 calories. It is 39.9 grams of carbohydrates and 38.7 grams of sugars. And we're comparing that against the other manju they sent. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised. Next to it. Um, okay, so this one is does have more calories. Okay. Does it does have more carbohydrates. And they don't mention hmm. the sugars on here. Maybe it's because there's no added sugar in the other manju. Well, this is literally brown sugar. Yeah. So, like... The flavor is sugar. It's weird that the one that is advertised as being sugar is less sweet than this. Maybe it's just that the citrus makes it seem more sweet. I think that's the case. It is good, though. Give them that. Yeah, it's like a little citrus punch. Um, and by punch, I mean jab. I like them both. I did like the brown sugar one a little bit more because I love the, sweet The and texture savory. on this one is much less chewy, too. It's just not... It's good... But since we just had another really good manju, I'm just like, yeah, it's all right. All right, I'm going to go get the tart out of the freezer. Okay. You think now? It's only been there for like two minutes, right? I thought that's what we talked about, though. Okay. We could try something else. I assume we wait. Here, you pick. Five. What do you want? Those are going to be sweet. I don't have a problem That's with fine. that, but I know you've been trying to, like, mix it uh, up. Let's do this. Okay, find it in the book, just in case we got to freeze this one, too. Hmm. We should have frozen the Mountain Dew jelly, because that, I think, would have I don't know about frozen, but chilled. It's these. Yeah. Sata Andagi uh, Beni Imo Donuts. Traditional Okinawan dessert eaten during auspicious occasions, such as weddings. These balls shake. These Our balls shake donuts. Is coming up. Yeah, are packed with purple sweet potato flavor. Try warming them up to elevate the sweet flavor. Okay. We uh, can do that. We can do that. The book just said, if Sakura Code gives you a referral code, let me know because I want to subscribe now. They've never given me anything like that. Uh, and she has to head out. Oh, have a good Thank evening. You, Honestly, though, you should subscribe because I think you really would enjoy this box. We don't have any kind of affiliate relationship whatsoever. I'm going to warm or these if, up. if Trevor is watching, he knows what, what to get you for Christmas. That's true. 
uh, my problem is now, how do, how do I warm these up? Microwave. They smell really good. So I think warm, they're going to be even better. Pull the other one out of the freezer when you... <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do the old out. swapperoo. Yeah. I wouldn't put them in for more than like 10 or 15 seconds. Oh. So I've never actually had purple sweet potatoes before, I don't think. Uh, I believe I've been told they taste like regular orange sweet potatoes. Uh, I do eat sweet potatoes a fair amount, mostly roast them. Uh, maybe I've had purple sweet potatoes before. I don't think they grow native for sure in Here? this area. No, nah, I've never had purple sweet potato. Yeah. This is our chilled Benny Emo tart. Still got orange flavor in my mouth. One of the things that I really enjoy about experiencing other cultures' foods is that there's just something that really ties, like everyone has to eat, you know? And there's something that really, I think, ties people and cultures together. So we have a friend from Cameroon and one of the ways we kind of bonded was by talking about the influence that France had, negative and positive, on both of our cultures. That was the common thread. We were comparing foods, we were comparing religions, we were comparing customs. And it allowed us to find these things we had in common that we, you know, we might not have been able to find. And food is a really great way to do that, to bridge gaps and to find commonalities. And I think some people like, I really get excited about food, Joseph not so much. So I think for people who don't get excited about food, they can't really understand why. People might geek out about it, but like people who like food, it, it's like an instant way to bond. I mean, there's people who in general, I don't like them at all, but if we're talking about food, we get each other. Oh, uh, so- It's even, very purple. Even though it's two different, types it of things kind of the, the, the texture yeah the texture kind of blends together between the the outside crust and the inside potato filling i guess you would say um it looks better than it tastes i would say i think it's a, a pretty treat um it's certainly not bad the purple sweet potato doesn't taste significantly different than just sweet potato and i mostly just like sweet potato as a savory thing so this one's not the, so much for me. The crust tastes pretty buttery. And, uh... I'm also gonna... I'm just gonna keep talking about this. I don't know. The this. sweet potato just kind of tastes like sweet potato. Like mashed sweet potato. Which isn't bad. It tastes like sweet and pastry dough to me. Um, so most countries have a McDonald's. And while, you know, Indian McDonald's and Japanese McDonald's and Chinese McDonald's and American McDonald's are different, they do have certain menu items that are the same. And in America, we have, um, is it Jolly Chick? Jolly Bee. They have a few Jolly Bee. That's like a Filipino restaurant chain. They have a few mm -hmm. of those are like in California, but we don't have this like ubiquitous other culture influence that actually comes from that other culture like taco bell is not mexican food by any shape like no. if you think taco bell is mexican food you've never had mexican food um but i mean whereas Texas other and california and other places are are full of no that's not what mexican i'm food. saying other countries have mcdonald's in mm. manga you have Black but they Donald's regionalize and, for that and area. Black Donald's and mm -hmm. all this, but you still have some things that are always going to be. You could probably get a basic cheeseburger at any McDonald's, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, like, even though it's not like the best American food ever, you in India, you in Japan can try this thing that like most American children have had at least once. So there's like that unifying thing. But in the U.S., we don't necessarily get that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that I think that's because we've got our own weird racism problems. 
and forcing people to give up their culture in order to quote unquote be American instead of allowing them to retain their culture and introduce it to more people. Like that's why I think some of those chains don't make it as well widespread over here is because you're gonna like in Louisiana, right? Like if you had Jolly B in Louisiana, that's a that's an iffy proposition because there are um there there has been a Filipino influence on Louisiana for like hundreds of years, but it's not as um it's not as like well known as you would think. So like if you had a Jolly Bee in Franklinton, that would not they would squash that because they're still having problems with the KKK. Like no joke. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. I was just thinking about food. Whoops. I'm so sorry, y'all. This stand and that setup is not a great. Yeah, I don't know why you um have it so vertical. <sighs> you could uh push the front part. If more I forward have it, and... if I have this more forward, it's just gonna show the ceiling. No, there's two hinges, right? So you could push the back part more forward and lean this. I one. wanted it up more. I just shouldn't have used this stand today. Did you say so? It works think, well for vertical, but not so well I, for I horizontal. I can show you after the stream. Sure. I mean, I was also just kind of, I didn't want to like fuss around with it. it. Smells like an apple fritter. It kind of looks like an apple fritter. It's purple on the inside. Yeah. It's greasy. It's very greasy. It's the first greasy thing we've had from... It is fried. Mm -hmm. And fried things do not always transport very well. I don't know if... Um, am I detecting preservative or is it just the dryness of it? It's very dry. It is very dry. There, There's flavor notes I really like. I bet these are so good fresh. That's Probably. the thing. <laughs> this is not... Mm -hmm. This is not a pop tart. It is not the epitome. It would be like, I mean, not very helpful if you're not from the south, but it'd be like if you made a hush puppy shelf stable. Or a beignet. It's not airy enough to be called. A right, beignet. but a beignet shelf so stable would not taste like a beignet. Probably not. Um, it's got a little bit of that alcohol alcoholy taste, not necessarily in a bad way. Um, I would definitely try this fresh. It, I um, bet this is super it has good like fresh. a syrupy kind of flavor too. Did it say it had brown sugar in it? I can't remember. I mean, not brown sugar, the sugar cane. I don't see it, but it would surprise me if they didn't. What's the purple coming so from? So how do you inside? how do you fit in your wedding dress if you eat a bunch of? You eat these on your wedding. Mini donuts. Mm -hmm. um, Are you serious? Tell me about that. It's been nothing but people knocking on the door wanting favors and family calling me. Looks like it didn't interrupt the stream. Yeah, that's surprising. I can't even share it. I probably should have just had one of these because it's, even yeah, though but... it's airy, it's, it's kind of dense. Because it's greasy. It is. When I bite into it, I get a little bit of grease. Mm -hmm. And I do see why they said warm it up. Because these would be not, not, sad, not but... good cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, heating it up did a lot for it. Uh, it's probably my least favorite thing so the far. The inside, though, is very dry. Mm -hmm. I, I would want, I really want to try these fresh. Yeah. I'm sure these are great fresh. <laughs> I don't really have, I don't taste much of the sweet potato. I kind of think it might be there for coloring. Maybe it is a pretty color on the mm -hmm. inside though. Yeah, I can't think of the last time I had a donut that was that kind of purplish, pinkish color inside. It's making me think of taro root or ube. Oh, that's what it is, isn't it? Isn't purple sweet potato ube? I don't know what ube is. Ube. Oh, well. I don't know what ube is. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not going to Google it right now. Oh, honestly, though, that kind of kills... That kind of kills my appetite. Like, I'm kind of done. You mean you're full? Mm -hmm. or? Hmm. And I'm having trouble getting through that one. Uh, well, we could try one one of these little candy things. I mean, we don't need to try the cookies unless chat really wants us to. 
Uh, we already tried the jelly, right? Well, no, this is a Monica. That's a Monica. Monica, yeah. Well, Are you serious? Sorry. Uh, yeah, Devin's right. Okay. Joseph. Can I call him from your phone? Sure. And would you uh, pick something and try it? I'm sorry. Yeah, no I, I assume this must be important. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, so yeah, I'll put that down for now. Come back to it later. It It is, it is by far the heaviest thing we've had from one of these snacks. So I'm curious about these. Let me look it up in the book. Hmm, can't find it. Wait, what's happening? Maybe it doesn't show it in the packaging. Probably just not looking in the right place. Where are you? Ah, there we are. Lightly salted red bean manju. Okay, so it's another manju. I didn't realize that. I thought it was more of a uh, candy-like thing. So let's just try what Becca read before. These uh, little candy guys. Okinawa must really like their manjus. I don't know if they have male and female ones in here. I'll pull a few out and take a look, see if they all look the same. That one's mouth is open, that one's mouth is open. That's closed, but it's possible one side is closed and one side is open. Yeah, I think that's the case. I'll pull one out and show you guys. Uh, Donovan, what do you mean by the last video has no sound? I assume you don't mean, uh, during the stream, you mean the last video that was uploaded to YouTube? So you can definitely smell the sugar in here. It's kind of like this pretty amber Wait, translucent color. Y'all were asking about the last video or something? Uh, no, don't worry about it. Okay. Because I could, I could maybe help you. So one side, the mouth is closed. Oh, we're trying. Oh, 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 that's cute. They're double-sided. Yeah. Okay, I thought the some. The design is pretty cute. That is pretty cute. What else did you try? Just this? Yes. Okay. So, sorry about that. Actually, I still got this in my mouth. <clears throat> It's kind of malty, but it does taste very like brown sugar -y. sugar cane brown sugar. See, I've always, I like it. I've always felt like sugar cane kind of tasted malty yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. So to me, this definitely tastes like cane sugar. Yeah. Which, um, growing up down here, cane sugar used to be more ubiquitous. It's less so now. Because it's kind of like you can buy cane sugar syrup, and it's kind of an acquired taste. Either you like it or you really don't. Yeah, it tastes a bit like caramel. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely doesn't just taste like refined sugar, mm -mm. Um, or beet sugar for that matter. It's not sugary. It's like sugar and savory. Yeah. But it is very sweet. Now there's <laughs> some kind of center to them too. Oh, I didn't know. Did it say that they have like a special center? Uh, actually, I thought you read it earlier. Mm-mm. I thought you were reading about the faces. I don't know why, but I can't seem to find it. They do split up the, the foods with articles. So sometimes you think you're done and you're not. Yeah. Okay. Brown sugar, sheesh. Shisa candy. It's a lot of saying it with them in your mouth. Shisa are mythological guardians based on lions. Often they are associated with Okinawa and are used to bring in good spirits. However, now they are here to deliver you a burst of brown sugar goodness. So it is brown sugar. With an outer hard shell protecting a soft sugary center. So wait, is there sugar inside of their sugar? Probably. <laughs> um... Brown sugar can refer to cane sugar as well. It's just less processed. 
okay. than um, white sugar. White yeah. sugar is very processed and refined. Yeah, so a lot of the impurities that kind of give it its flavor are boiled off if yeah. you're making it's white like sugar. Yeah, it's like different than sea salt or table salt or whatever. Table salt can be mined. Yeah, I know. So we're not going to try all of them today. Since there's only two of us, and that would be, that would be a lot. Yeah, actually the, the donut is Yeah, the light. donut just kind of did it for me. So I thought that this would be some kind of jelly-like thing, but it's just another mm -hmm. manju. It's a pastry, yeah. I, I'm happy to eat it. I just didn't want to have a, a third manju tonight. Mm. I think my favorite thing was the brown sugar manju with the red bean paste. That oh, was really good. I far. would want to buy more of that for sure. Yeah. Uh, this I, candy is kind of a... Not a close second, but... It's pretty um, good. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. And I like the um, savory... I actually... You didn't care for it as much, but I liked this. I thought that was really good. Oh, and I like the um, the rice Practice. cracker mix, too. But I always seem to like or the rice tea. cracker. It's a good jasmine tea. Not that overly... That was kind of boring, but it was alright. Refreshing, though. Yeah. Like, with all these sweets... You don't want something that has, I don't want something that has a whole lot of flavor. Yeah. And it didn't feel over caffeinated. Like sometimes after I do the Sakura Co unboxings, I'm wired from all the green tea and caffeine. That's one of the reasons why I only wanted to make one. That's fine. Have you gotten to the center yet? No, I mean, I'm, I'm about to bite it. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So are you going to Oh, it's good. It's a little crumbly though. Am I gonna what? Are you gonna continue with the box? You this was like a this good was box. This $40 was an, worth? Yes, this was an interesting box. The bowl while plastic looks pretty nice. I got to try several things that I've read about, like Manju, and I've never gotten to try. Yeah, I like that. So manju. I like that. Um, I like the curation. I feel like these are quality. And the theme was pretty cool. Yes, I really like the theme. So I would say, you did, well, I don't know if the OK sign is permissible in all cultures. I'd say you did a good job, Soccer Co. Mm -hmm. I like this box. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have for September. Part of me feels like it's going to be apples. We will see. It's like a powdery sugar center. Yeah, I just bit into it. I see that. Oh, last video has no sound. You're right. Um, I want, so that's just me flipping through my portfolio. Um, it's part of a longer video, but I wanted to share it as a short and YouTube allows you to edit music into your shorts But because of the format it was long format and I tried uh, Cropping it into vertical format, but then you couldn't see the art um, I wasn't allowed to edit sound in so I apologize, but I also figure it was like a minute so and what's funny is the same videos on Twitter and it's doing well on Twitter. Like, people don't care if there's no sound, but on YouTube, they expect sound, which I understand that. It's just a different platform. But it's always interesting to see how different things do on different social media. Have you been doing a streak thing? That's no. Anything that requires me, I feel like they should just automatically enroll me. I'm paying. <laughs> just automatically enroll me. Yeah. Because I'm not going to remember to do this. You're already getting my money, and I'm reviewing the box, and I like the box. Just enroll me. But I'm in a heart because the prize for this month's photo contest is very cute. And by doing video reviews, I'm not really able to do the nice, pretty photos that have my face in it and all that. Like, a lot of these are people basically just showing off the box like it's a prize. Um, Sakura Co., please consider video reviews and unboxings when you're considering your photo contest because... We would like to compete too. This is a really cute set. I love that glass. It's adorable. Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I guess I need to... And a summery beach outfit. Oh. <laughs> no. Why not? Me? No, 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 no. First off, we already unboxed the box and ate half the stuff. Yeah. Secondly... This is my summery beach outfit, considering it's been raining every day. Nonstop. Yeah. yeah. And in Louisiana, you you go outside, it's super hot and humid, you step into any building, it's 50 degrees and you're freezing. So everyone 
wears jackets or brings jackets or hoodies or whatever because you're going to fry and then you're going to freeze. So if you guys like Japanese inspired things, you should check out Becca's comic, Seven Inch Kara. I will post a link to that in chat right oh, now. Oh, do you have it handy? I have a little fusion living handy, but I don't have... It's not necessarily... It's more manga inspired because I enjoy manga as an art form and I like yeah. reading manga. And it's Studio Ghibli inspired because I really admire how they draw characters and handle the backgrounds and their use of quiet moments in storytelling to just allow the reader to breathe and exist and be part of the moment. I love that. Um, but it's not like set in Japan. It's actually yeah, set in South Asia. Inspired. Yeah. You're inspired by their storytelling. You're inspired by their visual style, and you're probably inspired by their characters as well. But I'm. So. But there's a lot of American influence in it as well. Basically, what I wanted to do was I wanted to tell, like, like Miyazaki and his documentaries talk about telling a uniquely Japanese story. I wanted to tell a uniquely American story from my viewpoint. Mm -hmm. So that's what my goal is with all of my comics: is to tell stories set in the U.S., I, in, ideally somewhere I've lived, somewhere I, I love, and make the characters feel like real people that would exist. Not yeehaw cowboy, but like just people. Yeah. So, um, I don't have a copy of Kara, but I do have a copy of Lilliputian Living with me. So, if you enjoy the work that I share here on the channel, this could be a great way to own a whole bunch of my art in one go along with a whole bunch of Lilliputian world building prompts. And you can find this and 7 Inch Care of Volume 1 and 2 in the Netto shop at nettosoup.com slash shop. So thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. I am so sorry about all the interruptions. I need to like, I should have put my phone to do not disturb. I just didn't I think about on, it. On bugs. That's my, that's my goof. I've totally just forgot. People don't call me, so I totally forgot. Um, and as for the person knocking on the door, I thought it was just Amazon delivering something. No. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. It's a little weird that we got the August bump, August so box early. in mid-July. Yeah. But I appreciate that they're trying, to, they would rather be early than late, and I respect that. And so let us know in the comments below which of these snacks you think would be your favorite. And let us know if wherever you live in the world has anything similar to these and ways that or you think. Or if you have any tasty snacks from where you're from that you think we ought to try. Sure. Because I am always down to try new tasty treats. No promises though. What? No, what do you mean no promises? It can be difficult to get Oh, sure, of. for sure. Beignets in Minnesota, I would just be like, find someone who can make that for you because yeah. you're not going to find it. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys Friday evening for the watercolor live stream. Bye, guys! Ah, oh, thank you.